one of my friend's dads was a retired EOD tech, so I had kind of heard through the grapevine about EOD, and I got really, it kind of sparked my interest, started talking to a recruiter about it. I knew already that I wanted to come into the Air Force. I just was completely unaware that there was a career field like EOD. Um, so when I found out about it, I got really excited. I went in there, talked to him a couple times, watched a little EOD video. <laughs> I just like explosions. <laughs> explosions! <laughs> I think that working with the guys is an interesting dynamic. Uh, I say interesting in a good way because the male and female thought process really tend to complement each other. Um, I'm actually the only female at the shop, so it's a little interesting. For a time frame, I was the only one at our last shop as well. But um, I, I would say the dynamic is really unique in that the guys all have a pretty funny sense of humor and we get along well. She's another EOD tech. Uh, there's really no gender basis on any of this. She's just one of us. She's very experienced and professional about her job. I have to punch him in the face a lot to keep him in line. <laughs> so there's a lot of punching in the face and scolding. Uh, she's very helpful uh, around, uh, I don't know, she just yells at me a lot. That's pretty much really what happens. <laughs> Guys, did you hear that? I think that everybody in the career field and anybody who's worked with us will tell you that everybody in the career field is a little bit off. Quick, punch me in the face! Um, I would definitely say my, th my favorite thing about EOD, other than the adrenaline rush and everything, um, is everybody talks about this big Air Force family and everything, but I think inside of EOD, being such a, a small, close-knit community, that we really get a feel for who all's in our career field. So it, it's really close-knit and it truly, truly, truly has the aspect of home it, in terms of you know the people that you work with and everything.